and we're back. Another day and a lot more waves. It should be picking up right now. It'll probably, probably be like six to eight feet by this evening, but I could be wrong. It could be too big for Rockies and I also could be wrong about that. But here is another one of my surfboards in that new quiver. I grabbed one of the shadows yesterday, the squash tail 510. But this is a, almost look like a 611, but it's a 511 next step. So it's got a round tail. So I'm gonna try this board out and see how it works. I'm in the middle of board testing right now. I forgot to show you guys the boards that I just got just now, but I'll show you guys right after this session. Let's go get it. Looks fun. It's still so beautiful out. I checked the UV. It's like 4.30 right now. The UV is around two, so. Um, that tent over there? Yeah. Yeah, that would be a sick angle. Looking into it? <laughs> Looking into it. Yeah, perfect. I like that angle. Jack's, Jack's gonna go hang out with his mom on the beach while he films. Dope. Mm. Got some Dahui wax. You guys go check them out. DahuiWax.com. Best wax in the game. Yeah. Unfortunately, that was a pretty fast session. I don't think I'm actually injured. I just, that one wave I pulled in and didn't make it, I jumped forward in the barrel. And next thing you know, my board just hit me so hard in the calf. And it just like sent this like sick feeling to my stomach. And I tried to like shake it off out there. And as soon as I like started feeling better, I tried to stand up on that one wave I came in on and my leg felt like it was just dead. My calf, right here. You can kind of see, all right, can you see that line? The rail or fin or tail or something just went like straight into it. I mean. You can kind of see it. You can kind of see it. Huh? Yeah. It's not cut or anything. I don't think it's a, it's definitely not like a broken bone, but just all tender. It feels like it's just a huge knot in it. Ah, oh, it hurts so bad. Like I got kicked in the leg by my surfboard. Anyway, I'm gonna go ice it and I'll show you guys all those new surfboards I got in a second. So hopefully this, this is minor and I'll be good to go tomorrow. I think I'm gonna rest today. It just does not feel good putting any weight on it. it. Feels like it's got no power in it. There's no muscle, like it's not firing. Weird. So like I said earlier, and in the last video, I got this brand new quiver of Pizel surfboards. Here we have a shadow with normal foam. And these, I think, are, this is a shadow epoxy shadow normal foam and the reason I got so many and they're all the same size five tens all the same size there's another one out there that I just use and in the back there's a 511 ghost that works really well I think might be my favorite out of this whole batch but I just haven't got to try these yet so I'll keep trying them out but uh, the reason I got so many with different types of foam is just to try them out and sometimes they work better in different conditions. Like if it's really glassy, 
I'll try an epoxy, but if it's all lumpy and windy, I'll use a normal foam board. But um, these, Paisel just brought back, he's my neighbor, just brought, brought back from Australia. He said, Paisel Australia gave them to him for me to try. He gave me a mini ghost and a phantom. And he said, these are the, their new stringerless blanks or something. And no one's really buying them yet. They're not catching on. So I'm gonna go try them out soon and let you guys know how they work. But if you guys are in Australia, go check them out. Try a stringerless epoxy surfboard from Paisel. They got the mini ghost and phantom, so we'll definitely use these in the next couple videos and I'll let you know how they go. But uh, yeah, I got my new shortboard quiver. I think it was so two, three, four, five. And there's another board in there, it's six two. So I got six surfboards. Yeah, and there's more coming. I I ordered 18 surfboards. And Paisel probably forgot about the rest of them. What do you guys think about this paint job? These sprays? Could they be better or do you like them? Because I really like them. We got a blue one out there, another purple one. Yeah, I like the tail dip. And then 80s on my step up for pipe surfboards. So yeah, check them out. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. Check out Paisel surfboards, Paisel Australia surfboards, stringless boards. Let's go. I'll get you more, good. Back, round two. Get this, got a good story. Just happened, a prank. I don't even know how it's a prank on me. <laughs> but Nate, Zord, and Ivan go home. Nate has his wife, Mahina, call me. We're making fun of him looking like chubby, <laughs> kind of fat, but he took his rash guard off. And then he has his wife call me. Be like, hey, can you guys not really tease Nathan about being fat or whatever, <laughs> or being chunky? And I'm like, oh my god, I just like hurt Nate's feelings really bad. Like, I feel terrible. I'm like, okay, yeah, no problem, whatever. And then Nate comes over, him and Zord and Ivan are standing in the yard, just like can't help holding in this smile and laugh. I'm just like, what is up? What is going on? They end up filming the whole thing of our phone call with me and Mahina, Nate's wife. <laughs> I don't know, I guess that was a prank on me. <laughs> or it's Nate's secret cry for help <laughs> for me to stop teasing him. I mean, I'm a little chunky right now, too. Bad Boy Surf Club. I'm in. Bad Boy Surf yeah. Club. See? <laughs> FBSC. Oh my God. Shorts almost fell off. Exactly. 
Imagine just coming in naked over the rocks at Rockies. <laughs> That'd be a great thumbnail. Look at, oh, yeah, we even missed it. Right there, that little bit of light looked yeah, like an alien it. spaceship was about to come through there. But it didn't. It just ended up disappearing. Fun session. Got a couple turns in. It was really, really difficult to surf somehow. Like, you take off on a wave and I'd be thinking like, oh my God, this is gonna be the craziest section, I'm gonna hit it. And then it would just like back off at the very last second. It's like, shucks. But I really like this board. I feel like I'm getting into more of a flow with my turns, especially my backside turns. So hopefully we can just perfect my surfing until I surf really, really good. Thank you guys for watching, subscribe to the channel. We will see you tomorrow because the swell is here. I don't know how the winds are gonna be, we're gonna wake up and find out. That's for sure. We get Nay and Ivan on the rock. See how Ivan put his board backwards? If you're on super shallow reef and you don't want to touch the reef, sometimes put your board backwards. Go like this. You can your fins will stay out of the water, so you won't hit the the reef, and you'll stay like you could do that in like this much water few inches if you're on a little wave. Little tips and tricks to surfing. Let me know if you guys want to hear more tips and tricks to surfing. If so, leave a comment of your questions and something you'd like to know about surfing and we will answer them here on This Is Living. See you tomorrow. Alright, I'm changing my board for this next session. This was the 510 Shadow, the 511 Next step, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna go out and surf really good this time because earlier was a bit of a shock. But still fun. This is gonna be a great session though. Izo probably loves these fins. They're different shapers' fins. <laughs> Surfboard shaper. And I'm in Faisal's yard right now. A big question in the comments a lot of times on the YouTube is, like what fins and setup do you use for your surfboards, shortboards and stuff? So I typically, I ride all kinds of different fins, like different types. I'm still trying to find out which ones I like best. But usually all the fins I use in my shortboards are larges. So fins go from small, medium, large. I use larges in my shortboards and mediums in my pipe boards. And our big guns are small fins. The reason we do that is because a shortboard has less rail to stay on the wave, which kind of acts like a fin. So you need, there's less rail on shortboard, so you need a bigger fin. Whereas pipe boards have more rail, so you need a little smaller fin in our big 10-0 guns, 9-8s. You need a real small fin because that whole long rail, you don't need a big fin. It honestly works better if you have a smaller fin. So shortboards, large fins, step up boards, mediums, and if you're gonna ride a gun, small fins. Small, super strong fins. Like they don't bend like this at all in our guns. Like these fins have flex, there's no flex in those. Same with our pipe boards, we have flex in those fins. Yeah, a little bit of fin formation for you. Whoa, fin, fin for formation. <laughs> Round two today at Rockies. Hopefully I don't bog super hard on this board because these are very, very different surfboards. Just one's a squash tail, which is like a square tail, a pin tail, round tail. And I haven't rode this kind of board in a while. So it might take a couple waves to get used to. Or I'll just jump on and start ripping. So round two, round pin. Yeah.
out there paddling and just like, I was like, oh, Nate went in. I'm like, he convinced us to come out. And then he goes in. I know. <laughs> okay session. Not my best session, not my worst session. But the board felt good. It felt a little strange. I think another session, if I just dial it in a little bit better, tomorrow's just as big. It'd be nice to use this board. It kind of has, feels a little more high performance, like more like wanting to move a lot in these waves, so. I don't know, I did a couple okay turns, fell on a lot of waves, really hard to surf. It looked a lot better from the beach than it was out there. The current was ripping. Such a bad current right now. So hard to just stay in the spot for a wave, but it was, it was worth a try. See how tomorrow is.